Greetings, YouTube. In the two weeks following the mass shooting on March 20th, there were 20 mass shootings. 20. 20 mass shootings. That made the news. I mean, I'm, there are already always mass shootings in America that nobody seems to care about. And yet, no legislation to help curb those problems is being addressed. Well, there's lots and lots of legislation trying to disenfranchise black voters. People are still taking money from the NRA and the gun lobby. They don't seem to care that people are being gunned down in the street. Some of it random and some of it definitely aimed at women and minority groups. They don't care. If they did, they'd do something. And I've talked about firearm control, gun control, for years now. And I would like to have it done on a very broad basis. For example, I want full background checks. I want to deny people who have, you know, domestic charges, domestic violence charges against them. I want to completely ban semi-automatic firearms of all kinds. Pistols, rifles, shotguns. Anything that is semi-automatic, boom, gone from the market. Can't sell them, can't buy them, can't trade them, can't import them, can't export them, unless you're fulfilling some kind of government contract for the police or the military. And if you commit a crime with one that's already extant out there, automatic five-year federal penitentiary, boom, gone. Whatever other charges you get hit with, whatever prison sentences you serve, afterwards you spend five years in a federal pen. We do a buyback system as well. So the government can buy back firearms from, from people, getting more and more firearms off the streets. Because we know the more firearms that are out there, the more likely they'll be used against somebody. I mean, the mass shooter at the grocery store, bought a firearm four days before he killed people. If he didn't have access to that firearm, maybe he would have gotten another one, but it wouldn't have been semi-automatic. It means he would have killed fewer people. It would have given a better chance of, of the other people to survive. I mean, I know there are people who will be willing to take all firearms away from Americans except for those that existed at the time the Constitution and the Bill of Rights were, were put into power. I wouldn't necessarily go that far, but I can see the argument, because those are the types of firearms that the Founding Fathers were thinking about when they wrote those those documents. They weren't thinking about semi-automatic firearms or automatic firearms. They weren't thinking about firearms that had a, had a, a magazine that could hold you know, 20, 30 rounds, because that didn't exist at the time. There were no rounds like that back then. There were no cased ammo. But the gun nuts, the ammo sexuals, they keep panicking. Every time one of these mass shootings hits, gun sales go up. Yeah, I know, it's disgusting. But it happens every single time. Because they're all afraid the government's going to come for your, gun, for your guns. And of course... The thing that drives me nuts the most is that a firearm in the home is most likely going to result in an accidental shooting, a murder, or suicide. Having access to a firearm is one of the greatest predecessor, uh, pre um, predictors of suicide, particularly among men. Men pick lethal methods to commit suicide. And of course, since no man ever goes out there and actually gets the help they need, apparently, they commit suicide at unbelievably high rates. Particularly in states that have the honor culture, you know, the, they get to defend themselves, as opposed to, like, the uh, the concept that everyone is, has, uh, has basic human dignity and should be treated with it. Those are the two schools of thought in America, the dignity culture and the honor culture. And the honor culture is a death cult. I'm an advocate of the dignity culture. 
that everyone has dignity. I don't want to hurt these people that have firearms. I just want to make sure that we limit their ability to hurt others. That seems to be the bare minimum we could do. Really. Bare minimum. But we're not gonna. Nope. Nope, we're not. Alright, so by the time you see this, there'll be more fun mass shootings. I could probably put this video up every god every goddamn day of the year and it would be appropriate. And <clears throat> it would be able to tell you that there were 20 mass shootings in the last two weeks. It's been that way for years, it's gonna be that way. Until we do something as a nation. Until we tell the GOP to shut up, sit down, do your job, start saving lives.